Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and this cute chubby-cheeked hamster is the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. When I say current, it is October 1st, 2023, and if you are in the club already, you should have already received the pattern in your inbox. If you're not in the club yet, and you join any time in the month of October 2023, this is the pattern that you're going to get instantly. If you're watching this video and it's way after October 2023, you can find this pattern in the shop at shinyhappyworld.com. Here's how to make him. All right, this is the video showing how to put together the hamster block if you do not have a light box. So I've got all of the pieces cut out and I've transferred from the paper side to the fabric side all of these dotted lines. So for the most part, I will put them, uh, I will transfer those markings with chalk whenever possible. I'll use a pencil if the chalk line is too light, if it's on a really light fabric. And I use a Sharpie, nothing fancy, just a fine tip Sharpie, to transfer any lines that um, are gonna be stitched over. So the mouth and the, uh, the eyelashes, which I'll show you in a second, are stitching lines, not placement guides. So I will transfer those with a black Sharpie. And I'll also um, transfer any of the eyes and nose. I actually should not have done the nose this time because the nose is not black. Hopefully that black line won't show through. Um, but this is the eyelashes transferred. The eyelashes are always optional. I just think that they are extra cute sometimes. So this is a version of the block that I'm going to do with the eyelashes. And I'll show you another one that does not use the eyelashes um, in a separate video or and at the end of this video. So we are going to start with the shoulder piece. I always like to start with the piece that um, goes off the edge of the block. So I do my most of my patterns are what I call snapshot style. So you have to imagine that I'm taking a picture of this hamster and I'm zooming way in on his face. So he has a body. It's just not, it's just cut out of the frame of the photo. So I want that to be right at the bottom. So it's gonna be, the edge of it is gonna be buried, buried in the seam and it looks like he has a body. It's just not all in the frame. If you wanna do your face, what I call emoji style, kind of floating in the middle of the block, instead of putting the shoulders up here and having that awkward cut edge, just leave the shoulder piece off. And that will work just great. So now we're gonna put his chubby, chubby little cheeks in there. So they don't always look like they have super chubby cheeks, but when they are hiding food in their cheeks, they do and it's super, super adorable. So that is the look that I focused on for my version of the hamster. So we've got his chubby cheeks and that just rests, I should have said, over this line that I transferred. Once I have that line covered, I know I have enough overlap and that's gonna allow this quilt to be washed and everything after it is all stitched down. So for the top of the head, that's gonna tuck behind these chubby cheeks. And the same thing, once I have that chalk line covered, and I wanna just barely cover it, then I know I've got good overlap. All right, next up, we are gonna put the ears in place. And all of the pieces are numbered. If you're having trouble figuring out which ear is which, there is a placement guide that is just kind of a key that will help you put all of the pieces together. So I know that this piece number three is gonna go on the left-hand side. You can usually tell when you put them in the wrong place, if they're on the wrong side, they just look weird. So again, I'm gonna just cover up that chalk line that I transferred there. And I'm gonna do the same thing with piece number two on this side. And then just for a little extra detail, you could leave it just like that, um, but I did provide pieces for a lighter inner ear just because I liked how that looked on this guy. Sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And again, they're just gonna tuck behind the head as well. This one needs to be tucked just a little deeper. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna put the eyes and the nose in place, and the two eyes are identical. So it doesn't matter which one goes where. There we go. These are nice, 
big eyes. They're going to be easy to stitch around. There we go with that. And now the nose. So usually I give all of my animals black noses, but in studying pictures of hamsters, I saw that they always have a light colored nose, usually pink, sometimes kind of tan, but I thought the pink was cute. So I'm going with a pink nose. All right, so I'm gonna fuse all of this into place. Just follow the directions on whatever brand of fusible adhesive you are using. I use Heat and Bond Light for all of my quilts. And then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and do all of the outline stitching. And then I'll bring it back here and show you the finished block and also show you a couple of other versions I made with other colors, including one without the eyelashes. All right, here is one of the finished hamsters. I've got three that I'm going to show you. For this one, I used uh, all fabrics. The, all of the yellows are fabrics from the Lion Blenders collection. That's part of the Animal Kingdom collection. And this background block is one of the strawberry blenders from the Farmer's Market collection. And the nose is also from the strawberry blenders. And this one I did stitch the eyelashes on. So I've got one to show you here where I did not do the eyelashes. And that is this adorable guy. Oh, he's so cute. So on this one, all of the browns are from the Grizzly Blenders, which is also from the Animal Kingdom collection. The nose is from the Farmer's Market, the Strawberry Blenders. And this background block, this is one of my um, quilt blocks where I've already print, the, the fabric comes printed with the quilting lines on it. And this is from a new color palette that I've just put together. It's called Sea Breeze. And this particular color is Sea Oats. So it's all uh, kind of weathered, worn colors inspired by the beach. And I've got one more version. I did one more with eyelashes. So I did all of my hamsters in pretty natural colors. So all of them, all of the hamster colors are from the, the uh, Animal Kingdom collection. These grays are all from the elephant blenders. Again, I did the nose from the strawberry blenders because hamsters seem to all have pink or peachy or tan noses, but light noses. And on this guy, I really emphasized those cheeks by giving him a very different, a very contrasty pale face. And then the background block is one of the pre-printed quilt blocks from the classic rainbow collection. So that is three hamsters made with the new hamster quilt pattern, the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. I'll be back next month with a new pattern.